Hey, in today's video, we're doing a review of Monday.com versus Trello and which project management tool is right for your needs. Now, I say your needs because it really depends on what it is that you wanna to do today and what you're looking to do in the future when you're selecting the right tool for you. So a lot of times when I do these reviews, I try to think of an analogy that kind of puts the button on it because it gives us a lens to view the rest of the video through. And for this particular one, I kind of thought of it in terms of drawing. So when you draw, you can draw in one dimensional, two dimensional, or three dimensions, right? Now, one dimension would be a simple line. And what the line represents is a checklist. So let's say you have projects you need to get done or you're going to the grocery store and you just put the items that you need to pick up at the grocery store. A checklist is plenty fine for that kind of project. So let's say that you were going grocery shopping, right? Uh, would you create a Trello board just like this or a monday.com dashboard for a grocery list? No, that would be complete overkill. You don't need those tools. You just need a checklist on your phone. But if you have projects that are starting to get a little bit more complex, and a lot of times it's because there's more than one person involved, that's when you need something that's two dimensional. So a two dimensional shape might be something like a square. And I think this works out well because you can kind of picture a checklist just running up and down. But when we go to Trello here, this is a board that I was actually using with my brother as we were collaborating on some video projects. You can obviously see that it goes up and down, but it also goes left to right. So you can quickly see where projects are. Let's say this storyboard was finished and then it was recorded. I can move it here and quickly see that it's in the recording process. Now it's in the editing process and now it's published. So when you go to Trello, it's really like going from a single line to a square. And then when you go from Trello to Monday, it's like going from a square to a cube. Suddenly you're going from two dimensional to three dimensional. So I'm going to show you that right now why I think that. So when you're on monday.com here um, and you're in your dashboard or your workspaces, I should say, you have your dashboard here. So this can give you an overarching view of all of your different work that you have. And I'm going to get into this a little bit further detail here in a second because there's some interesting things you can do here. But when you're in an actual board here, which is also kind of like a project, this is where it gets kind of interesting. So this one right here is a mock project that I created or board, I should say, and it's a website project. So you can imagine launching a website. There's a lot of things that go into that. You may have designers, you have uh, coders or developers, uh, creatives, copywriters, and then a project manager. So that's why I decided to use this for a little bit more complex of a project. So really quickly, I do want to mention all resources mentioned in this video will be in the description below. And if you use my links for Trello or Monday.com, I may receive a commission because they're affiliate links, but you still get the best possible price and promotions while also helping to support my YouTube channel. So I appreciate that. Let's get back to the review. But this is where you can see it gets a little more interesting because I can add different views. So if I wanna view this as a Kanban board, just like it is in Trello, I can do that. So this is cool that you can move things around just like you would on Trello. But the nice thing though, is that there are different types of views. So why don't we take a look at this one? This is one of my favorite ones. This one is the Gantt chart view. And the reason I like this one is I can quickly see, and you can kind of drag things on here. So I really like this particular view because I can see a chronological order of everything that needs to be done. So yes, we need to create the site color themes, the logo concepts, homepage copy, homepage images. And what you can see here is these are sub items. Because if you look to the left, you can see how it's kind of nestled underneath the homepage images. And then what you can see is uh, set up hosting and launch uh, test site. Now launching a website is much more complex than this, but there usually is a progression of the way that things need to be done and there's lots of people that are gonna be involved. Now, if I was to do the same thing on Trello, you would be able to see kind of the left to right um, aspect of it, but it's a little bit harder to understand like where the projects are at, where the key issues are and things like that. So why don't we go back into Monday and talk about that a little bit further. One of the cool things is you can create your own custom dashboard. And one of the advantages with Monday over Trello is that the reporting and analytics are gonna be far superior to what Trello provides. So a good example of that is right down here. I can see exactly what people are working on. So I can see there's one project done, one working on it, two are stuck and two are waiting on somebody else. If you wanna add other items, you just go up here, you click add a widget and the battery one's pretty interesting. The more complex that your projects get, the more you're gonna to wanna to look at your battery. And what your battery does is it kind of takes this image right here, but it just gives you an idea of where your, all your projects are at. So I'm 12.5% done, and I wanna see this battery get more green than yellow and red. Now, one of the cool things, and I don't have any numbers associated with my project currently, is you can set budgets and hours for all your boards in one place. So this is a really important thing to mention right here. 
uh, depending on how you're using it. If you're using your project just for in-house purposes, right? It's just you and somebody else that you're collaborating with, Trello can work. But if you're looking at budgeting hours and tracking time, Monday.com is going to be the way to go because it allows you to invoice your clients based on the actual hours that you budgeted and also the hours that were worked. So this dashboard becomes kind of your command center where if you're in Trello, you really just have to open up different workspaces and you can see the projects within there. But there's not really like a command center or a dashboard where you can see all of your projects and the statuses of those projects. Now, one of the other things that's really nice is if you're in a project management role is let's say if you go to this website project and let's see if I can remember this right here. I'm going to switch this back here to the original table view. And one of the things you can do is apply filters. So these are really cool because what you can do here is I want to see this and I want to see just where people are stuck. So when I click that filter, I can immediately see where I know that projects are slowing down and people are raising their hand saying, hey, I'm stuck. So this is really powerful because if you've ever managed projects, you know that there's always like these natural bottlenecks that can occur. And it might be because it's more complex or maybe you have a team member who's falling behind or they just don't have really good insights or direction on what it is that they're supposed to be doing. But if you set it up this way and you empower those people that you're working with to say, hey, I'm stuck, it's a way of them to raise their hand and then look at this really quickly and be able to see where all of your project bottlenecks are happening so that you can address those things so that things continue to move forward quickly. So far in this review, it's kind of leaning towards Monday because we've been talking about features and functionality and all the things that you can do with it. But like I said earlier in the video, it really just depends on what you need. So one of the things that often gets overlooked when you're looking at a new piece of software for your team is adoption tendencies. So one of the things I do like about Monday is it's very visual. You have different options on how you want to view boards. People can kind of customize it to their own needs. But one of the nice things about Trello is it's very simple. There's not a lot of training or anything that you need to go through to understand this. You can kind of understand it pretty quickly. You, you click on a board, you have a description, you have your thread down here of things you can read. Here's your different things you can add to the card. You can look at power ups and buttons, but you know how the thing works and it's pretty simple. When you get to monday.com, it is a little bit more complex than Trello. So you kind of have to gauge your project and how complex it is. And sometimes keeping it simple is the way to go because it's just the easiest way to get people to adopt the new system. But one of the things that you should be cognizant of as well is not only what you're doing today, but what you're doing down the road. So a really good example of looking down the road is in the last few years, we've seen a lot of brick and mortar businesses start an online e-commerce component to their business. Actually, I know somebody local here, I'm in Buffalo, New York, who was a tattoo shop. They couldn't do tattooing and piercing anymore. So they started selling jewelry online and they actually did really well with it. But when you make that leap, it's adding extra complexity, right? But now you have to be able to track those sales. You need to handle customer service. Perhaps you start using another tool such as like Shopify to manage your e-commerce store and you're gonna need a smooth tool that can integrate with it. That's where Monday is gonna leave Trello in the dust. Trello is not meant for robust features. It's more so keep it simple, Kanban boards. Let's look at this left to right and get everybody in as quickly as possible and make it easy for them to adopt the tool. So some of the downsides too with Monday.com is that if you're looking at the pricing, the free package is very limited compared to what you get on Trello. Uh, and then when you're in the lower tiers, there may be limited file storage or reduced features. And a lot of times you naturally are gonna end up progressing into some of the higher tiers. Now, one of the things that I've realized from being in business the last 15 years is there's certain aspects of your business that you wanna go cheap on and there's certain that you don't. Now, here's another feather in the cap for Monday that I wanted to show you. So this is pretty cool. If you go to my work here, so this is where you can really see the cube effect, right? This isn't a checklist. This isn't even just a Trello Kanban board because you might be on a bunch of different projects, but this is everything that I have here. And you notice that it's all says overdue, but then you see today, this week, next week, and all that is zero. Well, why don't we take one of these right here and I'm gonna change the due date and I'm gonna make the due date uh, this week right here, the 30th. So as soon as I do that, you can see this right here that it moves it down to this week. So if one of these up here and I was to push it out to let's say next week, you can see that it shows up next week right there. So this is a really cool feature that you'll be able to see in one space, all of the work that you need to get done this week. And the reason I highlight this is you may have ideas and thoughts on what you need to get done today with your business or your project, however you're using these tools, but as things get more complex and harder to manage, that's when things such as this my work view that you can see here become really powerful because you're, you're able to just see at a glance what you need to get done today, this week, and next week, 
very simply and very easily as you're using this tool. So here's my general consensus on it. Let's say that you're a college student and you're working on a group project and there's a lot of aspects to it and a simple checklist isn't enough. Trello is a great resource for that because you're able to put everybody into the same project and you'll be able to move projects left to right and have threads of communication in those projects and not have to go back through email chains and try to figure out what's going on with what. But let's say that you were getting out of college and you decided to start a business with those same kids. Now, that's where I would say Monday.com would make more sense because your business on day one is not going to be that complex. But if you guys are working together three to five years from now, you're going to have so many different projects and things that need to be managed that you didn't think of day one. And Monday.com is going to be able to grow with your business. Now, as far as spending money on these tools, I'll say this. Uh, a lot of times businesses will pinch pennies in the wrong areas. And if it comes to project management, I don't think that's the place to pinch pennies. Now, the reason I say that is if you're really able to dial in your systems and your process and your automations and everything with Monday, you can make your business or your project that you're working on 10% more efficient, or perhaps you're hitting deadlines 10% earlier because of that. That is gonna have a huge and massive impact on what you're doing and especially to your bottom line. I think it's fine to pinch pennies in some areas, when it comes down to getting your projects done on time and making your business more efficient, that is not a place that I want to pinch pennies. Again, guys, thank you for using my links in the description below. And on the screen, I'll have a more detailed review of specifically just Monday and also Trello. And you can decide which one is right for you and check out those videos next. I'll catch you in the next video.